Hey guys, welcome back to Down Under. Today we're going to show you five ways you can cut your cable bill. Now we're going to work this out by the $139 that you pay with Foxtel, and we're going to see how much you'll save. Like with Netflix, we've got Foxtel now, we've got a couple of other services we're going to compare it to to see how much we can really save. Is it available in HD? Is it available in 4K? What sort of availability features we have, streaming features, and much more, all in today's video. So, hope you stay along, tune in, and I'm hoping you get a bit of info off this, and I'm probably right now. Worried you might get hacked on the internet? Don't worry, go to purevpn.com or click on our link down below. So the first one we're going to start with is Netflix. So for $9.99, you're going to get one stream, but it's going to be an SD quality. If you go over to $13.99, you will get a HD stream, plus you get two streams, but it won't be in 4K. If you want 4K, you're going to have to go $17.99, and that comes with HD and 4K. So that and that brings the total saving to $121. So you're saving $121 off your... If you cancel your cable service, you will save a total of $121. When you think of it, it's quite a lot of money. When you think of it, it's amazing how much money you can save. You can save thousands in the long term. So that is one of them we're going to compare right now. So Netflix, total saving, $121. Now when we go over to Foxtel now, it's not as big of a saving, so it's $35 saving. Now if you want all packs, now you may not pick all the packs. Now all packs is 104 bucks a month. Now, 4K is not available yet. It is in HD on selected TV channels, and you can stream three devices. So, if you're just going movies and sport, obviously you're going to be saving way more than $35. But I've worked it out that you've subscribed to all the channels of Foxtel now, which is the total saving $35. Now $104 is still cheaper than having cable, okay? It's still cheaper. You're saving $35 right there. Now you will need an internet connection, so that's something that may limit you a bit. Um, if you've got a slow connection, you need a bit over 5 megabits per second, and that way you'll have no lag, no stupid little circle in the middle of the screen. You won't have any of that issue if you're over 5 megabits per second. So, um, so everything should be all good if you got over 5 megabits per second, and Foxtel now looks exactly like Foxtel IQ4. Like, the um, update looks exactly the same. Some things are different, but you wouldn't really notice the difference. Um, basically, everything is the same. You just can't record. You can pause for 30 minutes, but that's it. Now we're heading over to Tubi TV. Now, the best thing of Tubi TV, it's free. There is no charge at all. So you're actually saving a total of $139. There's no cost, all you need is an internet connection and you actually have a large amount of TV shows and movies and it's unlimited devices so you can watch it on anything you want. Watch it on your iPhone, Apple TV, Android TV, Telstra TV I think it's on. You can watch it on everything. About every 30 minutes that you watch a movie, you do get an ad. You get only two ads, but um, you will get an ad. Sometimes you don't, but I find it more often when you're watching a movie. You don't get the ads as much when you watch a TV show, but you do still get some ads. But this is a great service. If you really want to cut the cord, pay nothing, and you still want to get uh, movies and TV shows, good premium movies, you will get that with Tubi TV. So you can check that out today. Um, it's on the Apple TV. It's on Android TV. It's on a large amount of devices. You can even check it out on your phone if you want, on your PC. Don't need to sign up. You can make an account but you don't have to. So, yep, now we're gonna go over to our next. Now we're gonna talk about a pretty new streaming service in Australia, Amazon Prime. Now, this is a total of $6.99 per month, but at the moment there's a special offer for $4.99 for six months, so you can join that. Just go to amazonprime.com.au or just go to amazon.com.au. It'll bring up the same page. Um, you get 4K streams, you get HD streams, and you get Prime Original Series, which is awesome. You can stream it on three devices at the same time. You can um, get Prime Shipping, that's what's included with this. Prime Shipping, so you get like Express Shipping, and that doesn't cost a thing, it's part of this membership. Um, and there's a much more, you can do so much with Prime Video, there's so much you can do, really. Um, you, you can just shop, so if you want to get free shipping, as I said before, you're going to get that as well. They actually have a large amount of um, on demand. And I was quite excited. They actually have the whole season of Two and a Half Men. They actually have, you don't have to pay for it. So the whole season of that is about 80 bucks. So you don't have to pay at all for Two and a Half Men. It's all in the membership. So how cool is that? Try it out today, Amazon Prime. And it really is 4K and HD. It's available in. Also, I've got some updated news. Actually, Prime Music is actually now part of this as well. So not just you get Prime shipping, you get Prime video, 
Prime Music. How great is that? And you get Twitch Prime, all included with this one membership of $6.99 a month. So honestly, this is one of the best streaming devices you can actually see. Um, you get shipping, uh, music, Twitch Prime, and much more. So check that one out right now. now and you're getting a total saving of $132. And that's a great saving, so you're going to be at a bank $132 off your cable bill. Now up to the FV app. Now this is a free view app, you get all your favorite free to wear channels, on demand content. And now we're going to talk about is it going to be in HD, SD, and how much does it cost? The total cost is obviously $0 because it's free view, so there's going to be no cost there. Yeah, um, some content is in HD, but 90% of it is in SD. Um, at the current point now most of the time when you open on demand it will direct you to the actual app So if you're watching something on channel 10, it's going to open 10 play if you want to watch something on 9 now like it's something on channel 9 and you want to watch it on demand now it will pop up on the preview app But if you go to watch it, it's going to launch the net 9 now app Okay, so that's a bit annoying. There's one annoying thing that I super get annoyed with when you're watching the live stream um, Normally it just plays straight away but with channel nine, it directs you to the nine app now app. No other um, live channel does it. So channel 10 plays, um, channel seven plays, they all play. SBS plays, ABC plays, but when it comes to nine, it launches the nine now app. It's so annoying, but uh, nothing you can do about that. It's just channel nine wanting it to launch on their app. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't even be there if it's not even gonna work on um, the preview app. So as I said, you get all your favorite channels. Uh, you can watch this on unlimited devices. It's really is, it's on the Apple TV. So as you see on the screen, that's what um, you can see there, the guide and all that, that's getting filmed on the Apple TV. So it looks really good on the Apple TV as well. It's on the Android TV. So you can take a look at it there. You can look at it on your iPhone, your PC, and uh, a bunch of other devices. So yeah, check out the Freeview app. It doesn't cost one thing, and it's awesome. So now we're gonna be on to our bonus, two last ones, so uh, number six and seven so these are our bonus ones and these are the ones i highly recommend all depending on what sort of stuff you want to watch but i highly recommend these two ones i'm about to show you now now we're going to be talking about itunes and google play movies and tv shows now this is my favorite one as i said before this is the best one that i like and if we work at this little sum that i've done over here so if you rent five 24 dollar movies it's going to cost you a total of um 125 dollars now there's one bonus with doing this you will get to own them but when you think about it you wouldn't be buying five um brand new uh movies every month you wouldn't be buying five of them so you probably maybe buy two every month or you can buy the like the cheap ones like down here you can buy tv shows nine of those which comes to a total of a hundred and $35, and that's nine TV shows you can keep forever. But you wouldn't always be doing this. This would be a one-off thing. You wouldn't be doing this every week, every day, buying a new movie and TV show. You might. That's when you'd have to watch your limit on spending. But that way, you'll be able to find the show that you want. Because I'm sick of when you watch um, something on a streaming service, you subscribe, and then you go, doesn't have my show. Or it has a season of your show, has one episode, that's all it has. That's the annoying thing that I get. So with, um, you can either do this with Google Play, um, movie and TV show, or iTunes. They both do it. And you can get, some movies you can get from five to $20. In HD, some are in HD, some are in 4K. Um, you won't normally with iTunes and Google Play get it in SD. You do have that option for a dollar less, but just get the HD. And if you've got an Apple TV 4K, that will go up to a 4K HDR if the movie supports it. Same as with, uh, Google Play, it's a bit different with the 4K options, um, but yeah. So that is my favorite. In total savings, as you know, it may differ, depending on how much you spend on iTunes and Google Play to get your movies. Um, so that will be a big factor that you may need to work out. But that is a great way to get your favorite TV shows and movies, and you pay as you go. So you just pay uh, maybe $24 for a, a hit movie that you want to see, or you can just wait a few months, and it will drop in value. So you can do that as well, as well as you can rent. So renting costs $6.99 for HD slash 4K stream. Um, it's $5.95 for SD quality. So you might as well just go that HD slash 4K HDR or $6.99. So that's obviously worth it. And um, yeah, hopefully that gave you a bit of an idea. 
And now we're gonna to go to our last option, and this is gonna be the best one for your live sport, and that way you can cut your total cable bill. Um, so let's go over to this live sports service. Now we're gonna go over to KO Sports. So this actually went live yesterday morning, and you can watch all your favorite AFL, NRL, um, all your favorite sport, your cricket, your golf, with all the live channels. Now you can't watch horse racing and all that yet, now, it only starts from $25 for two streams. Now, they're all in HD. Now, if you want three streams, that's going to cost you $35, which is still, it's all in HD. You're still going to get a better deal than paying it with your cable provider because, um, obviously, you're going to get a massive savings. So, with your cable provider over here in Australia, it's going to be $68 because you're going to need the Entertainment Plus pack. You're going to need the Sports, which is $29, then $10, which comes to a total of $68. So, you want to cut that bill down down to $25, so you can add different profiles. So if you've got sharing it with your friend, you can have two different profiles. Um, and if you've got um, the three stream one, you can have three different profiles. So you can share it with your whole family, have it in different rooms. It's coming to Apple TV, Android TV, and um, Touch TV very soon. And there's quite a lot you can do here. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea. I hope you can see what's going on on the screen at the moment. And it gives you a bit of an idea what you can do and so on. And I've got a full review on this on my network as well. So if you want to go take a look at that, you can take a look at the full review that I did a video on. So this current point in time, you can't get this on your Android phone. You can't get this on your Apple TV, Android TV. You can't get it on your Telstra TV. Can't get it on anything. So the best way that I would say you get it on your TV, A, Chromecast. So if you've got a Chromecast in your house, use that. Number two, HDMI. So you can do HDMI, that actually does work. Tested it out this morning, so you can do that. Um, so that does work, so if you wanna do it that way, you can do it there. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be all the, how to save money on your cable. And I'm hoping these seven different ways actually helped you somehow. If they did, give us a thumbs up down below. Um, send us some comments if you've got any questions. Also, you can send us some messages on Facebook. You can go to our down under page right there. Check out all the new latest news we've got across the world and all different stuff like that. Check it down under on Facebook. We are, um, post over 100 titles a day of different news and technology stuff you may need to know. So um, check that out. And also you can comment down below and ask us any questions. And that's basically the end of today's video. And yep, so hopefully you learned something, you found a uh, different service you wanna join. Um, and yeah, so I really hope that's what my goal was of today, to actually help some people find the right service and try to save some money. Because um, instead of paying that big sum off your cable, paying that $139, that's really large. And you can just pay maybe $25. That's a massive ass saving. And um, yeah, so we'll catch you guys next time. And um, thanks again for watching.